This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The story of a local man who is honored by the President of the Dominican Republic for his work in the community, next. Hello everyone and thank you for watching. I'm Ken Carr with your local information. The Sugarloaf Township Zoning Board has voted against a Verizon cell phone tower at 9 Ackerman Lane. That location is zoned as an R1 residential district and Verizon applied for variances to put a tower there. Verizon has 30 days to appeal the decision. If you've been to a community event in the Hazleton area over the past few years, you've probably met Fermin Diaz. If not, you'll have that pleasure right now in today's community feature as we get to know the man who gives so much to the area. Today, I'm very pleased to be joined by a good friend and a very successful man in our community, and his success is ringing true all the way to the country that he came from. I'm pleased to be joined by Fermin Diaz. He is a civil engineer. He is also the entrepreneur instructor at the Penn State Hazleton Launch Box. Fermin, it's a pleasure to have you here to talk about this. You received a really wonderful award the other day in New York City and it was from the President of the Dominican Republic. And that award, uh, a Distinguished Dominican Award for the work that you do right here in the United States. First of all, tell us about the award and what your reaction was when you found out you were receiving it. Well, first, thank you for having me and, you know, for notice that in my social media, you was one of the person that looking and say, hey, Fermin, congratulations. The award was like, President select 37 people that are doing good in their community to promote, you know, the growth of Dominicans in their community. Like here, people, some people were from Florida, some from New York, some from Boston, basically the East Coast of the United States. And then uh, through a commission, he took a look about what we do in our community and basically he, he he i i was so grateful to be you know part of these 37 really wonderful people you love this community that you really i mean you moved here and it's like you were always here right yeah i think i i get sense of belonging in a community i always say to people that when I walk in a night very late, when I get out from the lunchbox and I say the Hayden Tower, I like to have history in, in every corner of, of, of this town. I like to have belonging. I know a day that I meet with you in the house of Jennifer Malaga because she got a, a, like a birthday. That's the thing that I am looking in the community. And that's why I really care about the people in this town. And I try to do all that is in my hand with other folks, you know, to try to make sure that all this, you know, area move forward. It's not easy. You picked up and came from the Dominican Republic here. And you know, if it was reversed and I went there, I don't know that I could do the same and be so successful. So it wasn't easy, but you're very successful, but you're trying to now help other people be successful, which is amazing. That's a wonderful trait that you have. One thing that I learned from people like I never will stop or mention people like Mary Malone, Krista, and my really good friend, uh, Joe Clifford. When you are in a leadership position, part is about you, but it's minimum. You open the door to other one so they can move forward and usually you get behind. And I, I really enjoy what I am doing. And, and I understand that if the level of the community in average race up that's helped me also me at, at all so that's why I, I i have a really huge commitment to make sure that that happened through this institution i think penn state university is doing a lot and i will take you know like this time to mention we are the heritage uh hispanic month and i want to you know say thank you to you know to penn state for all that they do through me and through other people to the Hispanic community and to all the community. You told me work is not work for you because you love what you do. So what are some of the things you hope to accomplish in the years to come? Uh, 
First thing I, I told you, don't mention that because maybe they, they could my pay because they will say, Fermi, you just f have fun. Well, I will be honest with, uh, very honest with you. I am, I am not 100% intentional when I work. I just, I just love what I do and I get involved in every new activities and I just get fun. And, but the only thing that I can tell you, my nerd, And my direction will be always to move the, give more visibility to more people in this community and create like a help to have a new branding of this community. We all are more than we are just alone. So this new identity that we are shaping, that is not easy to do, that's what is my focus. Promote the greatest of the past and the greatest of the future blending in what we are now and celebrating what we are, you know, how nice is when I, I see Kenny Carr in the street and I can say hello without nothing, like we know, like for a long time. So that's why it's my focus, just keep working in this direction. Today's news feature is brought to you by the Residence Inn by Marriott and Humboldt Station. Are you traveling with a four-legged friend? Call the Residence Inn at 570-455-9555. Six local golfers qualified for the District 2 Championships after a qualifying event at the Fox Hill Country Club in Exeter. Here's the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Hazel Tenaria's Isabel Sarach placed first in the girls' AAA tournament with an 84. Her teammate Ella Oswald also qualified for district, shooting a 95. Hazelton's Jonathan Joseph finished second in the boys' AAA tournament after a playoff hole. He shot a 73 on the day. Two other Cougars made districts. Jacob Lermo shot a 75 and Connor Mateo hit an 85. MMI Preps' Thomas Mayernick qualified for the AA District 2 tournament with a score of 83. In girls tennis, MMI beat Wilkes-Barre area. Kendall Orasco and Catherine Sisick won singles matches, and Diane Arias and Eve Corazza won in doubles play. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service on Wednesday, sunny with a high near 62 degrees. Wednesday night, mostly clear with a low around 44 degrees. Thursday, mostly sunny with a high near 58 degrees. Wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Thursday night, mostly clear with a low around 40 degrees. Friday, sunny with a high near 60 degrees. Friday night, mostly clear with a low around 43. Saturday, mostly sunny with a high near 64 degrees. And Saturday night, partly cloudy with a low around 48 degrees. Still to come, stories on the Bloomsburg Fair and the Hazelton Area High School girls golf team. SP TV News, let's send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Celeste Alkashinsky, age 82 of Hazelton, a celebration of life service will be held on October 9th at 1 p.m. at Full Gospel Fellowship in Hazel Township. Wayne R. Linmuth, Sr., age 82 of Hazelton, a funeral service will be held on Friday at 8 p.m. at the Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home. Friends may call on Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the funeral home. John E. Miller, age 65, of McAdoo. A funeral service will be held on Monday at 7 p.m. at the Damiano Funeral Home. Friends may call on Monday from 5 to 7 p.m. at the funeral home. Dave Marzik, age 72, of Hazleton. Services will be private. And Fernando Torres, age 78, of Hazleton. Friends may call today until 7 p.m. at the Firo Funeral Home. Tonight's obituaries are being brought to you in part by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory with two locations in Rockland and in Drums, 570-384-3312 or 570-788-0977. And go to harmonfuneral.com. 